and welcome back to Talk of the Town. Hilton Head Island is a place of significant historic sites. One of these sites related to the Civil War is historic Mitchellville. Members of the Hilton Head Bluffton Leadership Program, Paul Bowes and LaVon Stevens, join us today to tell us about their role in the Mitchellville Preservation Project and the importance of preserving and developing Mitchellville as a heritage attraction. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. I'm glad you're here. So the Hilton Head Bluffton Leadership Program, tell us a little bit about that. Well, that's a great program. Uh, we're with the uh, 2012 class, and the leadership program is designed for uh, folks that want to learn more about the community and about uh, town government and a lot of the organizations that make our community special. And the leadership program is just a wonderful opportunity to learn all about the uh, life in our community. And you are actually a part of the chamber, correct? That is uh, the chamber's class, yes. Right, okay. Uh -huh. And explain where Mitchellville is and maybe a little bit about the story behind it. Well, if you go down Beach City Road, down to the, the stop sign, continue to go through, uh, on the right side you'll see Fish Hall Creek Park. And within Fish Hall Creek Park is Mitchellville itself. And the story of Mitchellville is uh, Actually, I'll let Le LeVon handle Oh, It's handle a great this. story. Uh, it's becoming more and more popular here in <laughs> Hilton Head and in the area. Uh, Mitchellville is the site of the first Freedman's Village uh, in the country. Uh, it's an experiment uh, created by General Ornsby Mitchell uh, for the freed African, uh, enslaved Africans uh, right before, during the time of the, the proclamation where we weren't quite considered citizens. It was more, we were considered contraband. And the experiment was to have this community where uh, these natives could govern themselves. I mean, we had uh, our own schools, we had our, obviously our own churches, and uh, the village was uh, the, the pastor of uh, First African Baptist Church, uh, was the first mayor of the Freedmen uh, village we know as Mitchellville. Mm -hmm. So what, why did the leadership class decide to take on Mitchellville as a project? We had several projects that we had considered. And actually, as it, as it started, with the process with the leadership program, what we do is we kind of put out several different projects that we think would, would fit our class. And luckily, we have LaVon in our class. And when LaVon pr presented this idea of Mitchellville to the class, there was you could just feel so much passion be be behind what he was saying and what he was talking about. The passion kind of took over the class. And, and our class wanted this as our project. And, as time has, has gone on, it's evolved into something that's, that's going to be really great. Right. And, and some of the criteria for the class project is this has to be something that we can accomplish by May. Okay. Uh, our graduation is in June. Okay. And uh, so it has to be attainable, and we want, want something that would leave a great legacy. Yeah. And I think that helping to spark the story about Mitchellville leaves a great legacy for Absolutely. our class. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about the project. What exactly are you are trying to accomplish? Well, the project itself, what we consider this is kind of the spearhead to a larger project that a Mitchellville board is actually working on. It's about a 10 to 7, uh, 7 to 10 million dollar project. Our project, a little bit smaller. What we're trying to do is we're trying to build a informational kiosk park uh, area in the front of Mitchellville and right now we're uh, we're in the midst of it and, and we have basically laid down the groundwork started the frame for the kiosk putting informational panels together with the help of the Mitchellville board and uh, essentially it will uh, turn into a, a place where visitors can go read a little bit about Mitchellville and uh, also go online and read a little bit further about Mitchellville um, so it'll, it, it should be a, a neat project once we're f completed with it. Who's been helping you with the project? Besides, besides the leadership class, have you had other participants in the project? It, it's definitely gaining more momentum in the, in the community, and I know we have... Uh, we have quite a few uh, corporate, corporate sponsors at this point. We have uh, companies from Hargrave to the Greenery, um, and then also individuals uh, can contribute to our project. And uh, it has, it's been created, a lot of buzz has been created about our project so far uh, because yeah. of of uh, the and Fran White, we should it. say that Fran White, who's the chairman of the uh, Mitchellville Preservation Project, uh, also uh, gave us a great sponsorship, and a lot of the board members have been very supportive, 
The town is excited about it. The uh, town has, has played a, a essential uh, part in, in the completion or helping us along with this project. They've been very helpful. Right. We had a, a site clearing where actually the town manager came out, visited, and his, his son actually participated in, with the project in helping us clear, clear the area. As far as pictures <coughs> of the progress, if people are not real familiar with the, the, the actual project, is there places they can go to see, you know, kind of the progress as it's in place? Yes. We do have uh, pictures posted right now through uh, uh, the Chamber's website. There's a leadership program uh, website, and with, uh, within that, you'll be able to find pictures um, about our project. You'll be able to see a presentation on our project. Also, there's uh, corporate uh, sponsorship letters if you'd care to make a donation, individual sponsorship letters, and uh, we'll continue to keep that updated as, as the, the project continues along. Right. So as far as what's up and coming, uh, I guess as far as events or, or how can our viewers become involved? Uh, we are, we're planning an oyster roast uh, next Sunday, uh, the 19th of February out at uh, Roast Fish and Cornbread. They've been nice enough to uh, donate their restaurant and their space out Where's there. that at, LaVon? It's down on Marshland Road. Okay. Yeah, and from 12 to 4, uh, we're going to have an oyster roast out there. Uh, lots of oysters if you like oysters. If you don't, we'll have some hot dogs and, and things out there as well. And uh, uh, I'll have my band out there playing, so oh, we'll have some music oh, and a lot well, of... Uh, and what's there, the name of your band? Uh, <laughs> mine, Steven's band. But we'll also have some more of my friends coming by, like uh, Earl Williams, I oh, think, good. will probably be out there. He always helps out as well. Good. Well, it should be a fun day. Yes. So that's next Sunday, the 19th. <laughs> Yeah, Correct. the tickets are twenty dollars. Tickets are twenty dollars, and that call is call the chamber. It, right. and you can see one of us in the class, and that donates towards the Mitchellville project. Yes, and you can also just show up right at the door and, and pay the twenty dollars to get in, and you'll get all your fill of oyster roasts and and beer and water and, and great everything and else. great music. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> people can also go to the website, get this information. They can call the chamber. I would assume. Yes. Okay, great. And thank you so much. That's a, it's a great project, and I look forward to uh, as you as you continue to complete it. Well, thank you so much for having us. Sandy. Absolutely. It was a and we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.